Hi there, I'm Photo Junkie from PhotoshopBus.co.uk. So in this tutorial, which is a Photoshop tutorial, I want to talk about um, the optional uh, plugins that you can get from Adobe. So CS5 and CS6 have managed to uh, not include some um, plugins. So plugins that are no longer supported in Photoshop CS6 whatsoever are listed here so variation extract plus blah 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 but you can download some of the plugins which are missing so uh, you can get 32 and 64 bit ones for window and mac and they are listed here alias electric image um, this sg irgb soft image blah blah wavefront lighting effects um, and i think you can also download on this page Twain uh, which is basically if you don't know go to Wikipedia which is here and it's just a software pro software protocol for um, linking applications to scanners to um, make life easier scanning an image into Photoshop so you can get that all from this page which I will just bring up a text file which is this is the link I will try to remember to supply this link in the um, description on YouTube and our website uh, photoshopbus.co.uk where you can get all work files um, images etc so be sure to join there photoshopbus.co.uk so anyway what you want to do well let's let's just talk about the optional downloads but before we do I just want to mention one more thing they have got some Photoshop samples and shortcuts so you can download some sample files which basically help you learn uh, Photoshop and some of the things you can do with Photoshop so I imagine that you're downloading PSD files and uh, you will load it into Photoshop it will show you an image and by going through the layers and it might have notes in there or notations um, it will tell you how it was done um, I haven't downloaded them so I don't know you can you're welcome to so anyway you go to uh, here so download optional plugins for Macs and download optional plugins for window you click on it you get this box you click OK and then it, it ends up in your download folder or wherever you've told your uh, browser to download to mine's set to always go to the download folder uh, so you just you you should know where your downloads go so anyway once it's set it's a zip file you unzip it so it's um, uh, like a, a, I, I unzip it with uh, WinRAR I think it's let's just uh, click on that and see what it says it's a zip file so even if you don't have WinRAR um, you can just unzip it with Windows uh, so you don't need to buy any ex extra software so anyway once you've got that we've now gonna open this and we're now gonna open this and the download folder we can close right so let's first of all no we won't open Photoshop yet what we'll do is we'll transfer them over so I've got them here so this is my Photoshop folder and I've got all my plugins and everything there optional plugins for Win64 so it's the same thing for Windows 32 I'm just going to show you the Windows 64 um, way to do it so scroll down you've got plugins now you also notice that you've got lighting styles and I'll tell you why um, when we load them up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all I'm going to hit copy and then over in program files Adobe mine's Adobe 2 because I've got CS5 installed as well um, and you want your um, Adobe Photoshop CS6 64-bit because these are the 64-bit optional uh, plugins so that will be in your a program files folder not your program files x86 folder which will be for your 32-bit Photoshop so once in there you find your Adobe Photoshop you come down to plugins click on it and then right click and paste and then click continue and there you've got 
your um, uh, your optional downloads plugins and you've got this thing called lightning styles now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that lightning styles and you can see all these now remember some of them you've got two o'clock spotlight and blue omni triple spotlight just remember them because it does come into effect I'm going to actually delete that and I'll show you why and why it's important to put that in and you might have also noticed I'll show you on this side that it hasn't got the .ple um, file extension next to it. Well, that doesn't matter. If we go down to presets and we go down to lighting effects here, this is for the new, if, if you notice in Photoshop CS6, um, if you do render lighting effects, it ho opens up a whole new window. Um, well, these are the uh, different light lighting effects that you can have and if you notice they are ple files um, so you would have thought these would have the ple extension but they don't and it don't matter and they don't actually don't fit go into this preset they go into the plugins so enough talking let's open up photoshop right and then let's just open up an image we'll open up that image and now if we go to I'll just do a copy control J uh, if we go to filter you'll see some um, new um, new uh, plugins um, but and if you go to file automate you can see you now got contact sheet and some other things I mean basically just look at just look at the um, plugins you got there and then you'll be able to work out uh, what you've got now which you didn't have before but anyway let's talk about one in particular which is render and now you've got lighting effects first we're just going to click on that which you get in Photoshop CS6 as standard and as I said it opens up this whole new window and you can come over to the presets and you've got all these presets now notice you've got two o'clock spotlight blue omni triple spotlight just like we had in um, not that one just like we had in this one so exactly the same lighting effects we've got in this um, lighting effects from a Photoshop so anyway we're going to close this uh, okay yeah whatever um, now if we do filter render and then do lighting effects classic which is one of the um, optional plugins that we actually um, pasted downloaded and then copied pasted into our Photoshop CS6 plugins uh, folder it opens up the old one the classic one the problem is under the style we've got nothing so this is where we have to click OK and then let's just close it we don't want to save that so this is where we need to go back to plugins go back to plugins there copy that light in styles copy now you think it would go in presets but it doesn't it goes into plugins and you just paste it's going to ask us to say continue continue so they're all there now don't worry about the file extension not being there it doesn't matter now when we open up Photoshop so we'll do that like so and we'll double click and open up that same image and now let's do filter render and let's do light and effects classic and now under style we've got all our um, different lighting effects from them optional downloads and it's the same lighting effects that we've got if we was to use the um, the new lighting effects filter in Photoshop CS6 but some of you might want to use the classic one and um, you can do that by use by downloading these optional downloads now I haven't gone through them all and worked out which ones 
weren't there and which ones are there now that's something you can do I think contact sheet might be new if if we go to the website it might tell us um, these are the basically the um, um, the ones that we get via the optional download now they don't really make a lot of sense like SGI RGB soft image but um, you will notice a difference it's a shame that we haven't got the extract filter no more or the pattern maker, maker or the photo merge uh, web photo gallery I mean if any of you out there know where we can get these and insert them into CS6 because I think in CS5 we could have some of these I think you could put the extract back in and the pattern maker back in but not in CS6 if you haven't got CS6 you've got CS5 and you want the optional plugins then just google for optional plugins for Photoshop CS5 and you'll get a similar sort of page so anyway that's the tutorial so I suppose it was a tutorial about op the optional downloads for Photoshop but also um, how to install them download them install them and remember that with the um, classic lighting effects you have to um, paste that lighting in light and lighting styles folder into the plugins folder of your Photoshop folder so 64-bit plugins paste in there along with the optional um, plugins for 32-bit I'd quickly show you you'd go down program files um, um, Adobe uh, Adobe Photoshop hang on I'm on Photoshop CS5 I want that Adobe 2 so Photoshop CS6 and then plugins and then you'd paste it into there this is the 32-bit Photoshop so I'd go to optional plugins over here I might as well do it now plugins notice this has got the twain involved the twain only works with the 32-bit Photoshop so um, like I said it's to do with um, the it's, it's, it's like um, it works like a driver it um, communicates between the scanner and Photoshop um, but it'll only work in 32-bit Photoshop so let's just cop copy all them and while we're here just paste them all in there continue and now when we open 32-bit Photoshop which I won't do now because time's running out we'll get this we'll get all these optional um, plugins we'll get that classic lighting effects and we'll get the lighting styles as well which I think there's 17 of them anyway thanks for watching be sure to check out our website which is Photoshop bus .co.uk for all my tutorials with work files and also um, thousands more tutorials and games chat art um, help you know just uh, just a great Photoshop or design uh, forum really um, so come and check us out thanks for watching and I'll see you next